Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. We live in fearful times, and fear is actually a good thing. It's why we're still around as a species, but there's a difference between fear and anxiety. And let's talk about what goes on in our brain with this stuff. Fear. You're out side wearing a mask and suddenly you're surrounded by a group of people who are not wearing masks. What goes on inside your brain is there's a part of it called the amygdala and it's the amygdala's job to look around for physical and verbal risks and threats and get you out of the way. And the most important way it does that is through fear. Oh, I might catch COVID. I need to get out of here. So fear is an acute reaction to something that goes on and its job is to through fight flight or freeze get you out of trouble here's where anxiety comes in so anxiety is once you get home and you've sheltered in place for 14 days and you've tested yourself and you don't have COVID but you're watching the evening news and you're seeing the body count or the positivity count, or that your state now has a whole lot more cases than it's ever had. And suddenly, you're feeling very anxious about this. The problem is you have in your emotional brain, along with your amygdala, something called the hippocampus. And it's the hippocampus's job to give you context, to say, okay, you're not around anybody who has COVID right now. You don't need to be afraid in this moment. But that's not what's going on. How do you short circuit anxiety, which is a chronic condition? It's like the dregs of fear. Here are four things you can do. First, breathe. Because chances are you're holding your breath and you're holding stress in your body, which is making your amygdala go crazy. So breathe. And the most calming kind of breath you can have is to inhale for a certain number of beats, say three, and then exhale for twice that amount. Start with breathing. Second, if it's safe, close your eyes. Most people are visual learners, which means you're being overstimulated by what you're seeing. When you close your eyes, that helps to calm you. Third thing, ask yourself, what am I feeling? It's called name it to tame it. Once you know, I'm feeling afraid. You can engage that hippocampus, which can ask, all right, is there something going on right now that's dangerous for me? And if you're at home watching TV and nobody else around you has COVID, no, there's no danger. So what you're doing is you're using that hippocampus to create context for yourself, which can calm you. And then finally, do something that rewards you because you have a neurotransmitter in your brain called serotonin. This is a feel-good thing. So if meditation calms you, or a hobby cal calms you, or going outside where it's safe and walking around, or exercising, do things that release serotonin in your brain. Because when you're feeling good, it's awfully hard to be anxious. There you have it. Fear is an acute reaction to an environment that isn't safe. Anxiety is like a false emotion because there's no reason for you in this moment to be anxious. So know how you feel, identify it, calm yourself, do something good for yourself to short circuit that anxiety. Because we need you to be the most persuasive person in the room to help everybody else who's anxious. Thanks for watching.